so let's let's pick up since we we stopped with ox I mean nitrogen yesterday. Let's start with oxygen, the next element. Can you turn your computer Oh. I thought you said we did nitrogen yesterday. No, we I doubt it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll pick it up with oxygen. You've already done oxygen? All right. Well, let's go to fluorine then. Fluorine. All right. So fluorine. All right. So remember what we're doing is we're building on uh, all the uh, orbital rotations that came before. Okay? So we, for hydrogen, we had a 1s, and we had uh, one orbital and one electron represented by an arrow, which shows its spin. And then for, for helium, we had another electron with a down spin in that 1s uh, orbital. And the um, first primary level only has one orbital, so only one box. In the second primary level, we have an S sublevel. And in that S sublevel, we've only got one orbital. All S sublevels have just one orbital. So this is lithium and beryllium's electrons. So we're still building on uh, the elements as we go through the periodic table. You know, we're following the yellow brick road here, okay? And then we're into 2P. So that section of the periodic table, I'm looking for my set of references here. Huh? There is no 1P. All right. So this is the 2P section, and so over here in the 2P section, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we need space for 6 electrons, and since an orbital can only have 2 electrons, that means we're going to need 3 orbitals, and that's represented by 3 boxes, and we put them, snuggle them up next to each other like this, okay? And for, so for fluorine, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 more electrons. Did you have a question? And we're going to do that school bus rule now, okay? One in each box. And then come back, pair them up, and there's fluorine. Okay? That makes sense? All right. And then neon. All right. Same thing. We just take exactly the same thing. And we add one more electron. Boom. All right? Um, did I go over that yesterday about opposite char light char? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, without going too deep into it, maybe not as much as did yesterday. Char uh, particles with with the same charge tend to fly apart. Okay. Well, uh, we know that electrons um, get in the same region we call an orbital, and we represent in an orbital rotation we represent those like boxes. There's some reason why they can be close together. And the theory is it's something like a spin. There's a lot of physics um, that shows that um, you can sort of cancel out the electromagnetic repulsion of light charged particles. And uh, that you don't really get into that in high school. But what you do get into in high school if you take physics is when a, an electrical current is flowing down a wire in this direction, there's an electrical field that goes around it in a, in, it's called the right hand rule. It goes around in this direction. Okay? So if on a coaxial cable you got a, a signal going this way and the field is going this way, then uh, when, the, when the electrical field goes, or electrical charge goes this way, the pulses go this way, it cancels out the electromagnetic repulsion. And so that's kind of like how we get this opposite spin, allowing the electrons to be in the same orbital. It's like this. Yes, that's true. Now, um, and, and, the, and the whole reason why the Earth has a, an electromagnetic field itself is because we think that the, uh, the um, core is spinning. So it's sort of a solid core inside of a uh, liquid, meshy sort of core, and it's spinning inside of that. And that's what's giving us that electromagnetic field that protects us from all the uh, stuff from the sun that would otherwise kill us. Yeah, 
Yeah, these S and P, S and P's are sublevels. Okay. Technically, that's not one particular orbital over another, um, but we're going to treat it like it is with um, quantum numbers. Okay, just because, just to make it easier to kind of relate the two. Okay. All right. So then we filled up this second primary level. That's done. We're full. Yes. Well, even though the spin allows you to put two electrons in there, yeah, if they don't have to, they'd rather not. So we put one on each orbital and then come back and pair them up. And that happens when it's the P's. In the P's and D's and F's. Okay? Huh? Just not S. Just not S because there's only one in S. Only one orbital, so you don't really get it, you don't really see it happen in S, okay? All right. So then now we've got to go to a whole new primary energy level because we filled up all of two. So now we're going to go to row three, which is the third primary energy level. So when we get to sodium then, we're going to build on what's there, 1s. Then we're going to have 2s and 2p. We're going to fill those completely up. That's the school bus rule. We, it's actually called something else. We called it the school bus rule yesterday. And so we go back and pair them up then. And then We've got one more electron that's now at a new primary level. That's three. And the first sublevel I was looking for the map we did yet, or the thing we did yesterday. Here it is. Or one like it anyway. Well, can't seem to get it separate from another sheet of paper. Here we go. So with the first level we always come to is going to be S. So this is going to be three S, and there's always just one orbital in S. And we need one more electron, and we're done. Boom. Okay? Well, it's a simplified version of this, actually. But it doesn't tell you so much information. That's what happens when you simplify. It just has the one number. It doesn't have the arrows, right? doesn't have the arrows. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And when is the packet The total packet or just the next section? Uh, I've put on my calendar that I want you to have through page 100 by Monday. Okay? And uh, the next the next section is a lot of reference stuff that, you know, it's kind of like you're not going to be annotating it anyway. Yeah. I don't have that bag. You don't have that bag? All right. If I don't, I may have to, you may have to stick around for a minute after school. Let me print you another one. Let's see. No, I got one. Here we go. Yep, you're welcome. Alright. Now then. So let's see. Magnesium, I'd put one more electron right there, right? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Do I need to go through every one of these in this row? Yeah. Really? Everyone? Really? Yeah. Can I skip to aluminum? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Let's skip to aluminum. Four. Okay. You worry too much. Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm really good at it. You and Bailey, maybe, and. Let's see, who else are my warriors in here? I'll figure it out. All right, so here's 3P. So when we get to aluminum, we're now in the P subsection, and I just need one more electron. Okay? Good enough? Yes. Well, we're skipping a few. Yes. I mean, I'd skip more if Carson would let me. I don't know. No. How about we skip the sulfur? Can we skip the sulfur? Uh, what? Oh, oh, what, 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 what? No, I haven't gotten this one yet. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes.
No, there's there's three orbitals in the P-cell oh, level. Six nodes, or six lobes of That'll be true. There'll be six lobes. We'll get back to that. We kind of covered that just an introductory thing yesterday. We'll get back to that, okay? You're supposed to be round balloons tomorrow, by the way. When we, that's where we're going to make models of that. Okay? Don't forget your round balloons tomorrow, okay? Don't forget your round balloons tomorrow. Okay. All right. Can I skip to sulfur? Yes. All right. Wait a minute. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. I don't want to skip all the way to titanium. I want to do a couple of things first. Carson. I've had a, a request to skip way beyond sulfur. Is that okay? What's in the? It's like three elements over from aluminum. Can I go to the next row? Yes. Joy! Okay. I want to skip to scandium. I want to skip to scandium then, okay? Where's scandium? 21. Well, she wanted me to go to titanium, but I want to go to scandium right now, okay? All right. Now, look. A little less chatter, okay? A little more focus here. All right. So, here we go. 1s, 2s, <coughs> oh, I don't know what I'm doing here, 2p, school bus rule, 1, 2, 3, and go back and pair them up, 3s, I, it's a half an arrow, it's, some people call it a fish hook, yeah. No, students aren't allowed to do that. That's right. Okay. No, yes, you can do that if you want to. Okay. All right, so school bus rule, one, two, three, and then go back and pair them up. Brian, you'll have to ask somebody what the school bus rule is. School bus rule. Oh, I think school bus rule. No, you know, school bus rule. Okay. And let's see. So now we're going to go to the fourth row. So we're about to start where potassium is here. So that's 4S. All right, now, screeching halt. There you go, good. 4D. Huh? 4D. No, it's not 4D, and that's the point. It's not 1D either. Okay, it is 3D. All right, now here's the deal. Here's the deal, okay? Uh, you remember that illustration we did of all those electrons and all those different sublevels? The circle things we did there. It is. there. There's one illustration I did for somebody's class. Remember that? Okay, so we put two. Of, we, I did in all three classes. But uh, this this is the first level. The second level had eight, and the third level had eighteen. Well, if we didn't draw it back to the three D sub level, we'd have to stop with only eight electrons in three at three the third primary level. So what happens is, after you fill, start filling four S and you put just two electrons there, then something strange happens. And it's not so strange when you kind of understand some things that go beyond the scope of the class, but it's a little bit complex right now. But what happens is, instead of continuing to fill the fourth level, the atom essentially drops back and puts some more electrons back in the third level. And that, that's the 3D sublevel. Yes? So if you get to, like, the ones that are on the very right side that have, like, completely full range, the, what do they call it, noble gases? Noble gases, okay. Yes. Yes. In so a sense, it's yes. Well, there, there's a lot. Everything over here is going to have a, the same full valence level. I'll, I'll show you that when we get to it, okay? We're going to get there, okay? 